Whether you call them cinnamon bites, cinnamon roll bites, honeycomb bread, cinnamon bread bites, monkey bread, or pull apart cinnamon bread, there's no denying that cinnamon sugar dusted, chewy, fluffy, little balls of dough are delicious. I love little pull apart squishy balls of chewy, fluffy cinnamon sugar goodness. If you haven't had cinnamon bites before, you're missing out. Think of them as a cross between a cinnamon bun and pull apart bread. You pull them apart with your hands to get to gooey little cloud like pillows of sweetness. Cinnamon bites are a treat best enjoyed warm, with the ones you love. What are cinnamon bites? Cinnamon bites are a gooey cinnamon sugar pull apart bread that's baked, either in a bun pan or a round baking dish. It's made with soft and squishy pieces of sweet dough dipped in cinnamon and sugar. They're topped off with a gooey cinnamon sugar syrup, baked to perfection, then glazed with a vanilla icing while still warm. You can make these one of two ways, the cozy, relaxing, day of baking where you make homemade dough or the quick and easy way using biscuit dough. I'm going to explain the cozy all day affair first because fall is the ultimate time to spend an afternoon baking. If you're looking for shortcut cinnamon bites, scroll down to easy cinnamon biscuit bites. How to make cinnamon bites make the dough. Use a stand mixer to do all the hard work. All it takes is a quick knead with a dough hook and you're good to go. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can knead the dough by hand until it is soft and pliable. Let it rest. After your dough is ready, it's time for a rest so it can puff up. Now's a good time to have a cup of coffee or tea. Roll the dough into balls. When the dough has doubled in size, it's time to punch it down and shape it into little balls. Dip the balls. Dip the balls into melted butter, then cinnamon sugar. Pop everything into a buttered bun pan or a round oven safe pan then pour on the cinnamon sugar syrup. Bake. Bake until golden, doughy, and delicious. Drizzle. Finish off with a drizzle of vanilla icing while it's still hot so it melts into all the nooks and crannies. Enjoy. Eat it while it's still warm, there's nothing better, trust me. Cinnamon bite ingredients yeast. This recipe uses either active dry yeast or instant yeast. If you use active dry, you need to dissolve it in a bit of warm liquid before using. In this case sprinkle it onto warm milk. If you have instant yeast, just mix it right into the dry ingredients. Milk. I use 2% milk but any milk will work here, even almond or oat milk. If you're using active dry yeast, warm the milk up slightly in the microwave. I usually pop it in the microwave in 20 seconds increments. You want it between 105 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, which feels like a warm bath. Eggs, this is an extra rich dough with eggs in it. Not all bread recipes have eggs in them, but this one does. I love the extra flavor and plushness the eggs gives this dough. Bread flour, this one is important. You can use all purpose, but bread flour makes these bites soft and fluffy with just the right amount of chew. Bread flour has a higher protein content than regular all purpose, the resulting dough has more gluten in it, which helps the little bread balls stay soft and chewy. Cinnamon, fresh cinnamon is best. We're going to go with a fairly high cinnamon to sugar ratio, so each bite is bursting with cinnamon goodness. Butter, who doesn't love butter? It's essential for those warm and cozy bakery feels. Hash Easy Biscuit Cinnamon Bites Make Ahead Cinnamon Bites If you want to make these the day before then bake them in the morning for a warm treat, it's absolutely doable. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.